Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Skyrim. It has been a while, and this is exactly where we left off a few weeks ago, actually. And I'm actually really looking forward to getting back into this game. Um, I know it's been a while, but hey, uh, so I'm going to be a bit rusty, but just kind of bear with me, and, uh, you know, things will be back to normal pretty soon. I'm trying to catch up with all the time that uh, I spent trying to... Whoa, oh, okay, this guy's still... Oh, 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 man. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. I was dying a lot at this part because uh, this guy was, like, really strong or something like that. Or, no, this is a Hagrid. Oh, get her! Get her! Get her! Get her! She's dead. She's dead. Hasgraven. Or Hagraven. Hagraven? Claws, feathers, and steel arrows. Aren't these guys? These are like witches, but they're like, they used to be people or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. I just gotta, I just gotta remember to, to quick save. That's all that matters. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Alchemy Lab. Blue Mountain, Mountain Fountain. I say, something's been going on over, over here. I'm still in combat. It's over here. Ew. Some like there's some giant on the giant's toe. That's a lot of gold. I'll take that. But there's a oh another giant. Those are how big the chos are. Oh jeez, void salts. Good. We'll take it all. Hi Lydia. It's been a while. Hi Esburn. Hi, Delphi. I forget what we're doing. <laughs> I really do. What are we doing? We're doing Alduin's Wall. A found Blades Lore Master Esbern. As far as we were going to talk to Delphine, he believes that the secret to defeating Alduin has been revealed by Alduin's Wall, an artifact created by the Ancient Blades. We need to go to Skyhaven Temple to find Alduin's Wall and see what it can tell us. Boom! That's what we're doing. I remember now. <laughs> After reading it. Okay. Shield of Resist Magic increases magic resistance by 10%. Uh, Amulet to Bella. I think we have one, but we'll take that. And we'll leave the skill bracers because nobody likes skill bracers. Nobody. Nobody, even a little bit. Gotta get used to the quick saving again. But, uh, yeah, I gotta love it. Okay, so let's go. I think there's another guy up here. But, uh, yeah, there's that. This is a guy that, like, owns people in their faces. So maybe I'll, like, let these guys tank. And then just kind of, you know. Go for it a little bit later. And be like, hey, what's going Hey! Hey! No! That was easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot him, even during battle. I don't even care. No. <laughs> I remember I died on this 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 Force One Ravager, but she's almost dead, so you know. Go in while it's easy mode, right? Totally. Take advantage of my companions. Oh, she actually got knocked over or something. Since that's like a hard bat on the quick save again, but I'm not gonna frequently quick save like that. Let's put our stuff away and see what up. Where is Skyhaven Temple? I don't even know. Where is it at? Somewhere over here. We're pretty close. Blacksmith's Forge. Now I hear like one of the easiest ways to actually level up your blacksmithing is to just make a bunch of like iron daggers or something like that and then like sharpen them, sell them, an ebony mace. That seems important. How much does my... how much does my mace do? A douche. Glass mace only does 34, burns the target for 10 though, so about 44 damage. And how much did that do, the ebony one? 39. I should, like, enchant this with something, so I should keep it for now. Or replace it with a douche, because at this point, I don't think it's very good. Hmm. It's hard to say, guys. Let's see. We'll put this in left for now. But dual wielding maces! Dual wielding maces! Dual wield! Dual wielding is pretty cool. But in hindsight, if I was making a character, I think I would have done like a character with a shield. 
and heavy armor because it makes it a little bit ooh force one leader it makes it a little bit easier in the long run I think you're warning me really nice warning you're about to die yeah you're dead you're dead this is a very prov provocative oh she took an arrow t oh she took an arrow to the knee guys look look look, look. Oh, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. I'm gonna throw you off. It looked like it. Why did you trick me? Why? This is like the, the position that Sully was in in Commando. If you guys have ever seen the Arnold Schwarzenegger Commando movie. It's like... Yeah. He dropped him off a cliff. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> now, we gotta get up there? Is this the way? Let's go this way. Let's go this... Oh... Let's go kill this guy. Uh, boom! That's a critical strike. Free critical strike. Oh, base face! <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. Hmm. It's fun to getting back into games after you have have taken a break. But I mean, I didn't take a break like you know on purpose. I even today I had, or even this last week I worked like 40 hours or something like that. So you know. I'm I'm actually only part time though, so that's the thing. Like I I divide my time so that I I have a job and I work, and I also um can work on YouTube and have time for YouTube and everything like that because it's getting to that point where, um, I think that I can really do something with YouTube someday and like really get it to like the next level. I just need to put in the time and. I just haven't been able to put- Hey, why does she come from me when I'm like crouching? No. That was- I don't know why I'm doing so much better this time than I- I remember I died like three or four times in the last episode or something like that. I- I hit things after they're dead. Hmm, I'm so good at this game, guys. Briarheart. It's unknown. Unknown. Forsworn headdress. I'm in your chest stealing your golds. Blacksmith's potion, void salts, thistle branch, frost salts. I need to start taking advantage of like the really powerful potions that I have, but I really don't like. I like being passively powerful and not powerful by like downing lots of stuff. Also, if you still lose that battle, it sucks because like then you have to buff out. I mean, I guess you could save after, but I don't know. I like to be able to do things with like my basic character. If that makes sense. But I know that in this game it gets to that point where it's hard and you, you really have to utilize everything at your disposal. And that I wasn't really doing that. So I should attempt to do that a little bit more. Oh, I did install a mod, so you can see this now. Like, um oh I don't have a pickaxe on this character. But I installed a mod so you can see like the veins of things a lot easier. And so um must have something to do with it. So you can mine, basically. These are Akaviri symbols. Oh. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and hmm. warrior. A puzzle. Of course, the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing down. The that one. That's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. <laughs> and. We must be getting given that sky okay. temple was sealed against the return of the dragon. I will try turning all the pillars to that symbol. Whatever you oh. do, you won't. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Alright. Preventing the return of the dragon more my ass. I'm here, I'm here, and I'm ready to force shout some dudes. I forget what my what are my current shouts? What are my current shouts, guys? I forget. Shout, shout, shout if you're ready to party. I don't know. Come on. Items, magic, there we go. Shouts. Let's see. We got Animal Allegiance, Ice Form, Marked for Death, which is a good one, Unrelenting Force, which is also a good one, and Whirlwind Sprint. Now, I hear this is a rumor, guys, but I don't know. I, I just like was reading and it came up. Spoilers, not really, but at some point. Oh man, this is gonna be one of those. 
I can already tell what I have to do. Stay on the Dragonborn symbols. Don't be a loser and do something else. Dragonborn symbols. This is like Indiana Jones. You stay put. Dragonborn symbol. Dragonborn symbol. Dragonborn. Dragonborn. That was the easiest puzzle. All right, we made it. Activate the chain. Looks safe. Ooh. Let's move. Looks safe now. Let's. As all those guys are taking like a ton of damage from traps or something. Who am I detected by? Oh, I don't even care. I'm not even gonna like sneak around half the time anymore. Sneaking is not good. Unless you can get it really high, probably. Ooh. You know, I don't know what it is with games, but you could have, like, a really, really, really powerful video card, and smoke effects just, like, just, like, nerf your FPS so hard. I don't know what it is, but in, like, all games, like, I could be looking over here at the smoke, it'll go down, like, by, like, five or six, and I could look over here, there's no smoke, it goes up by, like, a 20 more FPS or something like that. Orcish helmet, necklace of haggling, amulet of Talos. Time between shouts is reduced by 20%. That's pretty good. But, I wonder if I could disenchant that and put that on, like, an equipment piece or something. Uh, here's the blood seal. Another loss that can be rearranged. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Well, kill yourself then. Your blood, Dragon. Oh, my bud? Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered we would see it no. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. But first, I'm saving it. That's just how it is. <laughs> oh, that didn't that didn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. There's like decapitations at the beginning of this game, and he he can't even like actually spray his own blood. He's nodding at me. Skyhaven Temple. Boom. We made it, guys. We're in. We're in, like, crazy temple area now, okay? Now, do these guys crouch with me? They kind of do. Now, do they actually come with me? Why is she the only one with me? Oh, I guess, like, I'm the first one who should go in. A.K.A. I should clear it for them! What's going on? Ooh, it's the wall. Now... Usually at intervals like this, people... There's chairs here. People are here sitting. No, they're here. There's one of the guys. Why is he... What's he talking about? Okay, I'll, I'll chill with these guys. We'll see if he's, they say... Okay, no, this is boring. Let's go. Uh, uh. See how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's make this my headquarters. <laughs> Skyhaven Temple. Alright, let's go up to the wall. This wall is cool. I'm at the wall. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it, old guy. You can get up those stairs. Do you need me to build you like a... Oh, here it is. These guys Four really talk walls, low. So they still haven't fixed that. I've never seen a finer example of early second era Kavir sculpture. Good thing there's subtitles. Information, bro. Give me that info. Ooh. Look at the dragons. There's like dragons that are like bright and fire on things. And this guy is like, I don't know, he's like a wizard. Here is your friend. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Lord, the legendary Kraken War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. Alduin. Here is falling from the sky, the Nord. Is that a dragon? Is that a dragon? 
So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, man. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in animal, mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Akaviri. Or even Alduin himself. Hmm. This is where they recorded all the new of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Yeah, hey, I was just talking about this. And the Greybirds might Probably know. Probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this. But it seems we have no choice. Back up the mountain. I'll ask Argnir if he knows what shout they used. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Cult? Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Okay. Look here. Dun, 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 dun. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled as the last Dragonborn. With all right at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Okay. Let's check things out and see if there's anything else up here before we just meander off. You know what I'm saying? Oops, didn't mean to do that, but hey, it happened, so, you know. Old news. What's going on? Got some rooms back here. With some gold, it was worth it all along. Six gold. My entire journey has led me to this point, where I have accumulated six gold in one chest, and it was totally worth it. I'm not going to take any of this stuff, except for the gold. And the broom, because everybody needs a broom, uh, things get dirty, okay? Alright. There's all these extra places. Let's see, what is this? To Skyrim, to Skyrim... Alright, let's go to Skyrim then. Maybe we can quick travel from out here. Red Guards are native to Hammerfell. Its cities hug the edges of the Great Alakir Desert. Whoa, that was intense. Where are we? Is this where we came in? This is not where we came in. We must be higher up. This is another way to get up here. Holy crap! We're very high up. I see things. Let's get up here. Wait, what was that? Harvest juniper? What is juniper? I should probably get it while I'm up here. What's this stuff? Is this anything? Nope. Nope. Oh, there's more juniper. Juniper berries. Juniper at Skyhaven Temple. must just be like some topside courtyard shenanigans. Alright, looks like we're going back to the Greybeards, though. So let's do that. Skyhaven is all the way over here, but we are going all the way back up to the... To... Not... not to, is this it? No, Marthal. No, this should be it, right? It's like up, oh, no, it's over here. The Shrine of Zura Winterhold. No, it's not over there either. I think I was in the right place. No, no, this is it. <laughs> Hi, Rothgar. I was like, man, this map is big. That's so big. Orphan Rock. The Ritual Stone. Let's go back to High Rothgar. You can learn up to three words for a shout. Each word adds the pow to the power of the shout. We really want that shout that's like, hey, dragon. Yo, hey, you're getting out of the air now. Because like, if you can if you can control where the dragon goes, dragons aren't really that big of a deal. They're, the whole big deal with them is that they're so 
they could just like fly around and chip damage you with fire and crap like that the whole time. And that is no fun to deal with. So let's go. Let's go talk to this guy and continue on our quest. Wind. Got you. I need to learn the shout used to defeat all the wind. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Hmm. The blades just wanted to feed Aldwin on you. At least the blades aren't keeping secrets from me. Ooh, snap! <laughs> that would be a funny thing to say. Let's say it. Do not be so sure about that. Beware. The blades may claim to serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. As for me, don't eat and I kept talk from to me. you only what you were not yet ready to know. Are still not ready to know, as your question reveals. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Whoa. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of in those two seconds? The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So you can't teach no, me? I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret hmm. this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all kinds of words of power. But not... Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps that only doesn't make any creators sense. ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. If the lo if the shout is lost, how can I defeat only all of them? Nax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Who is Parthenax? He's our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Let me guess, because he's a dragon? Hmm, why haven't I met Parthenax? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. Preferably a little faster than how you're walking right now. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Arn, Arngir, Arngir. People have cool names in this game. Let's see what this guy's name is. Wolfgar. <laughs> With a U. So you know he's badass. Arngir. Let's go, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Is he going? Is he gonna go in here? Yay, he went in there. I could always, next time like something like that happens, I guess I should probably just like be like, hey, what's up? And then like, you know, wait an hour, like use the wait system. <laughs> like right now. Just wait. Let's just wait an hour. Yay, he's over there now. Follow me, 
I will show you how to open the path to Parthenax. Okay, I'm following you. Look. Learn the clear sky shit. Do I have to actually... No, not powers. Shouts! Oh, I don't actually know. Oh, look. Fun. Okay, here we go. Clear skies! Give me your clear skies! Spring clear skies. Clear skies! Summer and clear skies. Of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Okay. Woo! Give me that soul. <laughs> we'll blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous. Not to be embarked upon lightly. Okay. Keep moving. Stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Very well. All right, guys. This is where I'm going to end this episode of Skyrim. I hope you guys had fun coming back to the realm, to the to the awesomeness that is Skyrim, bros. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so be sure to click that like and favor button as that directly helps the channel and the series get seen by more people. If you did that for me, it takes like two seconds. It's it helps me out so much though. So if you guys did that for me, it'd be much appreciated. And until the next episode of Skyrim, guys, take it easy. <laughs>